Good morning, everyone. Hope that you are having a great day. It is going to be beautiful outside. Um, hope you can enjoy the next couple of days of warmer weather. It seems kind of crazy that in uh, December, almost to the middle of December, we really have only had just a little bit of snow. Seems like when I was younger, it snowed all the time in the winter, and now it doesn't seem to. But we'll take what we get, and we'll deal with it, right? Well, hey, let's look at James again today. We're looking at James chapter 3, verses 5 to 10. This is almost very self-explanatory. I don't even know that I need to say much, but of course, you know me. I'll say a few things anyways. Let's look at, at chapter 3, verses 5 to 10. James tells us this. So also the tongue is a small member. Uh-oh, we're going down that road, right? Yet it boasts of great things. How great a forest is set ablaze by such a small fire. And the tongue is a fire, a world of unrighteousness. The tongue is set among our members, staining the whole body, setting on fire the course of life, and set on fire by hell. But no human being can tame the tongue. It is a restless evil, full of deadly poison. With it we bless our Lord and Father. And with it, we curse people who are made in the likeness of God. From the same mouth come blessings and curses. My friends, these things ought not to be so. What more do I need to say? That's so true, isn't it? Especially the last part. That's what I really want to focus on, is the tongue is a small member and... Uh, James talks about how a rudder could move a large ship or the bit that's in a horse's mouth, the bridle. Can you just turn a little bit and it forces the horse to move right or left? And that tongue, a small member in our mouths, can cause such great damage by the words that we say, things that we say in the midst of anger. And, and for me, it even extends today to these things, our fingers. Because we make comments on social media. We'll say something on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or whatever you're on. Or you'll send a text message to someone or an email to someone. And we type, we're mad about something. and We type it out and we hit send and boom. Once we hit send, it, it can't come back. The damage is done. So I want to encourage you, especially with what James says, you know, with the tongue, with our mouths, we praise God, we worship God, we, we sing to God, we pray to God. And with that same tongue, we curse people or we put people down. We, with the same tongue, come blessings and curses. And so it's a reminder for us of whatever we do, Wherever we go, whoever we're with, we have an opportunity to showcase who God is by the way we live our lives so that the light of Christ could shine forth. I know one of my curses, it's a gift and a curse, is I could be pretty sarcastic. I could be pretty cynical. And I have to be careful that I just don't let that fly out too often or let that quick wit just boom fly out and say something just really inappropriate. It's tempting at times, and sometimes I can hold back. But I know there's times where I've probably said something that I shouldn't have. And so it's trying to develop that relationship with God so that in everything that comes out of our mouth, everything that comes out of our fingers, is used to glorify God. Even if we have to tell someone that we're angry or we're upset at them, we're frustrated with them, whatever it is, can we do it in such a way that isn't a pounding? That still in the end, we can lift someone up and we can encourage someone because that's really what it's about. How do we encourage someone as long as it's today? Some thoughts from James, a few more thoughts from me. Have a great day. God bless you.